the latest issues with WWE Creative. We're talking about The Miz. We're talking about Samoa Joe and other things to keep you in the know because this is the brash and brazen, undisputed destination. Sean's View Entertainment on location. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to keep it fresh. And we're going to go all night long because Sean's View Entertainment is going to be compelling, intriguing, and refreshing to all the viewers and the subscribers. Smash the bell, subscribing, leave your comments, share my videos on Facebook and Twitter, like my official Facebook fan page, Sean's View on YouTube over on Facebook. There is a feeling, and we're going to go dive right into this, right, right off the top, we're going to talk about the main topics, the main rumors, news, speculation, gossip, hearsay, whatever it is, we're here all day. That's why it's very important to refresh, share, subscribe, and smash the bell. Turn on all notifications. There is a feeling that if it was not for the likes, and I love how they say the likes, of part-timers like the undisputed reigning champion Brock Lesnar and Bill Goldberg, who we also know won the Universal Championship, taking over the spotlight of Raw's top championship being the Universal title, that The Miz would be in the main event, and one source goes further to say that The Miz would actually be the Universal Champion, no questions about it. Wow. Well, The Miz definitely, you know, he's picked up his game and momentum over the last several years. The Miz has come into his own. The Miz is such a great, organic, natural superstar. I mean, this guy is a star. He is a bona fide former WWE Champion. He is main evented at headline of WrestleMania. I'm surprised The Miz hasn't won a Royal Rumble. And I go to agree with this. And I want you to rate my episodes out of five stars, by the way, too. When it's all said and done, listen through. Um, but the bottom line is, the, the Miz, when he first came on, you know, people looked over him. He was overshadowed. But I'll tell you what, The Miz is such a fine wine. He only improves with age. And what a great mix The Miz is. And you know what? The Miz probably would be the Universal Champion. So I can kind of agree with if Brock Lesnar and Goldberg and other guys weren't, like, weren't there. Really, when you look at it, The Miz always maximizes his performance. The Miz is intelligent. The Miz is on. And The Miz always shows through. There's no doubt about it. What is the latest on WWE Creative? What is the latest on Samoa Joe? We're going to dive into that right now to keep you once again in the know. Now, according to Dave Meltzer of F4W Online, WWE appears to be changing the format of 205 Live in an effort to boost viewership numbers and probably the morale. The company is hopeful, they're hopeful, wow, the WWE is hopeful, that more talking segments involving Enzo will increase viewers. So far, Enzo has reportedly only boosted numbers for his first 205 Live appearance. Why don't they do this to Raw? More talking segments. Give us some stories. Give us something that, you know, gets us intense. And, you know, something that, well, is interesting, unpredictable. Something that, well, once again, gives you that hook. And speaking about hooks and creative and, you know, getting us motivated and tr trying to show us on TV what's true and telling and the reasoning... With WWE hitting the reset button, and I think they should use the 205 mentality on Raw and SmackDown Live concerning storylines, because storylines are pretty much non-existent, which brings us to the next rumor and the WWE. With the WWE hitting the reset button in the past and WWE creative changing their mind, uh, the question from those in the know say, change what? What reset button? Why do we even need a creative team when WWE just puts forth wrestling matches circa 1975 what situation is creative even needed in in 2017 and how are these guys and 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 how is it so complicated on them where is the story where is the hook what reason are these two guys wrestling one another right now about the only interesting storyline going on is the Shane McMahon Kevin Owens angle and well wouldn't you know it's a McMahon that's featured in a storyline but what about the four other hours of wrestling during the week, not including 205 Live and NXT? Once again, I agree. Where's the stories? What you know, WWE, you know, you can't just have it about wrestling. It's called World Wrestling Entertainment. Where is the entertainment value? Once again, I gotta agree. Is Enzo helping 205 Live? Potentially, perhaps. But what about Samoa Joe? Viewers and subscribers, Samoa Joe says the recovery is going. The recovery for him is going really well, and he's but he's only been able to perform at about eighty percent uh, capacity since joining NXT. Joe continued. Back then, I had no chance 
uh, to take time off because of the WWE opportunity before I was just treating the knee problem with ice and uh, uh, elevation at home. See, that's what the thing with these guys, you know, not just a Samoa Joe problem, but when you have an opportunity, when you have a chance and you're dealing with nagging injuries or something that you probably should do, but when the WWE calls you and you got to show through and you got to do your thing and you got to, you know, even though you're incap maybe incapacitated, maybe you're not 100%, you got to put forth your best effort because you never know when you're going to get that chance or opportunity, especially when they had Samoa Joe competing at such a high level. They had Samoa Joe against the Universal Champion Brock Lesnar, the same Universal Champion that many feel that The Miz should be the Universal Champion, once again, for, for guys like Goldberg and Brock Lesnar. But viewers and subscribers, to ensure that you get the latest rumors, news, headlines, updates, developments, and changes up to the moment, here on Sean's View and we'll keep it brash, prolific, consistent, and dedicated. Make sure to share, subscribe, comment, and stay motivated. Because Sean's View Entertainment, if it's not brash, it's trash. More to come. Please rate my episode. Give your comments on any of the things we talked about. More to come for sure from the brash one, the latest in all WWE.